session. We'll do some live querying with him. So you were told to think of some ideas that we could search for in Wikidata. And when we get to that point, I would ask you to raise your hand and wait till I get to you with the microphone so the people on the stream can also hear what we're talking about. So that's the thing. Uh, hello. I'll give back to Lucas. Um, and we still have translations. When you have Deutsch hören wollt, we have immer noch Übersetzer, die euch alles versuchen, live nochmal auf Deutsch zu erzählen. Also hört mal rein. Have fun. Ja. Does anyone have a query? Yes. In front there. Nina? We have a question already. Um, is it possible to find all circular uh, family trees? All circular what? Family trees. Um, <laughs> it's certainly possible to find some. Finding all is probably going to be a timeout, but that would be something like select. Uh, going with child would be the simplest. So item child plus item again. So if we put the star like earlier, then it could then every triple would match that. But with the plus, it means it has to be at least one child link or more. And let's just add a limit one because I'm not that optimistic that this is even going to find one. But I'm pretty sure we cannot find all of them. But let's see if we can find one. And this might just take a while. But I don't think there's a good way to do this otherwise. Unless you download one of the dumps, uh, either the JSON data dumps or the uh, RDF dumps, which is the same data format used here, and then you can do it locally without any timeout. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much I can optimize about this query. It's pretty short. Unless like, I had an idea uh, that people named John are more likely to have these kinds of cycles, then we could filter it down first. But even then. Um, I'm afraid that is not going to work, it looks like. Yeah, timeout. Time out. And you can see the thing is written in Java, the server, behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, one thing we can do with this P40 plus is something like a search, start with a certain mythical creature, such as uh, King Arthur. I hope I can find him like this. The search is being, oh, right. Um, WD, not WDT. There we go. That's the legendary British or wealth king. And then we are searching for an item who is definitely a real human and who has a date of birth. And the, we say the date of birth should be greater than, let's say, 1950. And this is a date time value. And this. Let's, let's even say 1980. I think that might be more efficient. There we go. No, no, no results. OK. I thought King Arthur had some real descendants. No, then it was some other mythical creature. Let's just start with any ancestor who has the item as child. And the ancestor is also instance of mythical creature. Mythical character. Let's see if we have any mythical characters with children who were born after 1950. Oh, I still have the limit one here. Could make that a limit 10 probably or something. But I'm optimistic. I think there are some people here, especially, I think even British MPs. There's some, that's already on the list of example queries, British MPs with mythical ancestors. And there's a lot of them that trace their lineage back to some sixth or fifth century person. And you have all the parental links in there. Uh, and, and it's kind of tricky to figure out where it starts being wrong. Uh, that's not working out so well. Does anyone else have ideas in the meantime? They're way in the back. Thank you. Um, we all know that stupid game in Wikipedia where you try to find the Adolf Hitler page by only clicking links. 
So can you find the number of pages that are directly connected to the Adolf Hitler page in Wikipedia? Um, you can. Oh, that was a timeout. Damn it. So that would be kind of. Um, yeah, so one funny story about that, for example, is there's the, ma the main, or the first example query we have here is cats. And why do we have cats and not dogs? Because if you search for dogs, the second result, no, it's the fourth result by now, but that's the dog of Hitler. And we don't really want that normally, so we usually use cats as the example instead. But let's just search for anything um, where the item has any connection, and we don't care which property it is, to Adolf Hitler, like that. And we are going to find 920 results. Um, OK, some of these are site links. So we also want the item to have um, some label, which uses this uh, new namespace. And we want only the English label. So the language of the label should be in English. And we, then we just select the item and the label. And hopefully that's still pretty efficient. Yeah, there we go. NSDAP membership number, that's actually a property, but I assume it has as the example. Uh, yeah, there's a property example. He has membership number one. World War II has probably, what cause of death? Do we have him as an example on cause of death, really? And yeah, we have nitric acid poisoning, stroke, cholera, shot to the head, cyanide poisoning, hanging. That's a very pleasant list. Do we need to have that many property examples of cause of death? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, then we have Nazi party, Clara Hitler, I don't know who that is, 1936 Summer Olympics, all kinds of things. Yeah. So that's how you can find all the things with a direct connection to Hitler. Yeah. Any other examples? Yes. Over there in the right. Or was there already somewhere, someone back there that I missed? No, never mind. Can you, can you find the cheapest public infrastructure projects in Germany? The cheapest public infrastructure what? Pro projects. Like a bridge building or? Um, I don't think we're going to have a full data set about that, but we can try. Uh, let's start with a more expensive one. And see, perhaps move away from the uh, box. That might help. Let's start with a very expensive project and see just what the data model looks like. So what does infrastructure project look like? What's, uh, what is, what's the cost? So the cost is probably going to be in Euro. Uh, and I don't know how to write Euro. There. OK, it's a property called cost in Euro. And does it have something like instance of international airport, building under construction, greenfield airport, proposed airport being built? So we could check first, is um, Berlin Brandenburg Airport, is that an instance of some subclass of public infrastructure? Is that a thing? That looks like the wrong item. What is this? This is nothing. OK. Does anything link to this item? No, nothing links to this item. OK. Um, so it could be an international airport is a subclass of airport, which is a subclass of an aerodrome, which is an architectural structure. I don't know. We can search for architectural structures. So the structure would be an instance of subclass of architectural structure. And it would have a cost. And order by descending cost, limit 10. And we're probably going to get things in like, oops, yen or some other currency where this number is just going to be very high because we're not um, taking any conversions into account right now. Um, but let's see if we find something there. What is it doing? <coughs> what 
Okay. Not sure what, why this is taking so long. Let's try a second version in the meantime where we do. Uh, this quantity amount is cost and the base quantity unit should be the euro. It is still running. And yeah, let's try this. If that worked any better or not. Okay, this was a timeout. This looks like it's going to be a timeout as well. I don't know, we can just search for the most expensive things at all. Uh, remove this part. There we go. This costs 55 billion euros. What is this thing? Power of Siberia, natural gas pipeline. That's, and that's in euro, the cost? Apparently. And then this is 15 billion euros, and then 8.7, 7 point something. That's the channel. Oh, the channel tunnel was expensive. The Brenner tunnel was also expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and Stuttgart 21, uh, Stuttgart 21, whatever, uh, was also, or is projected to be expensive. Do, do we have one cost or several? Okay, in 2018, we have a cost of 7 billion. Um, yeah, so let's sort by the ascending cost instead, because that was what we actually wanted. And then we get, okay, now we're going to get a lot of things that aren't really infrastructure projects. We have the whole and the hot and energetic universe. Does that mean it's a no budget film or what? <laughs> okay, um, so we would need some kind of, okay, let's say, Let's do duct typing. Instead of saying it is an infrastructure project, let's say it has, uh, I don't know, a coordinate location. And it, if it has a coordinate location, we're going to call it some kind of infrastructure project, or at least it's not going to be a documentary film. Perhaps that works better. Yeah, so 21,000 euros cost this thing, which was in France. Oh, okay, right. It should also be have country Germany. There we go. That's 400,000 euros for a fountain in Stuttgart. Does that count? I guess. And that's an instance of something. It doesn't even have a German uh, an English label, just German one. Wait. Oh, so this is the class of all the fountains with exactly this name, which are a subclass of well, and are all named after this goddess. Okay, cool. Yeah, so there we have some of these cheap projects, which is this uh, public square, a bridge. Oh yeah, there's a tiny bridge, a footbridge. Has even an image. That's what it looks like. And it cost, what was it? 1.6 million euros already, wow. And then we have another public square. Yeah, so... Um, Cheap public infrastructure projects. And also public infrastructure in quotes because we're really just saying it has a location and country Germany. And yeah, I can send this query around afterwards. And this didn't work, this didn't work. Okay, any other ideas? That's bad news. Um, we could try to continue with some of these. Eight. Uh, yeah. Was there something? Oh, from the camera. Angle. I have a question. Um, I saw that with Wikidata query service, we can draw these nice trees and have images in them. Yeah. And uh, one example that came to my mind was uh, all the programming uh, patterns, the programming design patterns, but grouped by they're kind like their structural patterns, convenience patterns, and so okay. on. And like, can we draw a graph and maybe put an image in them? We can try that. So let's see how that's modeled. I don't know with the visitor pattern, for example. Um, that's a design pattern. 
what kind of statements does it have? It's a subclass of behavioral pattern. Is this a programming thing or already? Oh yeah, it's a sub. Okay, it's a software design pattern. So we should say the we're going to have a a pattern with its label and a pattern kind with its label. And the pattern is going to be a subclass of the pattern kind, which is going to be some subclass of, um, what was it, of software design pattern. And I'm just going to copy this ID, so it's the right one, label service, and say I would like to see this by default in the graph view. There we go. Well, that looks not as bad as I thought. We have a lot of structural patterns, behavioral patterns, one architectural pattern, a few creational patterns, and one fundamental pattern. Yeah. And yeah, what we could also do is if we do this, then we should also see connections of all of these. Yeah, now we have the tree rooted at software design pattern, so we have monad, and fundamental pattern is a kind of software design pattern, it's structural pattern, and it's all linked there, and this is working very well. I, this is much better than I expected. I expected a huge mess of, because it sometimes gets different to determine when should you use instance of, and when should you use sub, subclass of, like if it's software or patterns like this, I expected we would have to account for both of these, but this looks very good to me. I think we don't need to do anything with this query. Yeah. So that is um, software design patterns by a pattern tree. Okay. Any other ideas? Or I can try to keep optimizing this one. Which cities have applied to be host city of the Eurovision Song Contest the most times, but were never successful? Oh, that's a very good question. I don't know if we have the. Do you know who applied for this year, or, or for some year where I could check if that state if that's modeled anywhere? Hmm. Um, I need some example cities so. Um, let's check ESC 2018, if it has information on where it took place, uh, which one won the bid, but also who, who was nominated or something, or who applied. We have presenters, we have followed by start time, end time, participants. We have the winner. Do we have a location at all? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, we have a country and a location, but I'm not seeing any other countries here. And I assume that information is not going to be on the country item. It's possible that we have uh, some separate item for your vision 2018 bid, or, no wait, it had, would have to be which city, because the country is determined by the winner, isn't it? So the city, uh, but I suspect we don't have that information. We have a list of host cities, but that's just a Wikimedia list article. Do we have to switch to the other mic? Oh no, that sounds great. Okay. Um, yeah, so we don't have any of the structured information here. It's just linking all of these Wikipedia articles together. And then here is the actual list with the different venues. But I don't think we have that information in Wikidata at the moment. We could add it. You have to figure out the data model, but it would probably be relevant enough, I think. I wonder if we have that for the Olympic Games. So. Olympics 2020, do we have the process of who applied to host those? Um, 
we have location. Uh, we have parts. Let's check. Perhaps English Wikipedia has a separate article about the selection process for the 2020 Summer Olympics. Um, doesn't look like it. Host city selection. No, I don't see a main. Oh, no, there. Bids for the 2020 Summer Olympics. That's the Wikipedia article. Does that have any useful information on Wikidata? Bids for Olympic Games? No. Damn it. So we can see when these bids all happened, but we don't have the bidding countries and cities apparently on Wikidata, at least not as far as I can see. Bids for the 2012, for example. Uh, yeah, no, sadly, we don't have that information yet. Did this one run, by the way? No. Any other questions? Our translation angels had a question. And yes. They want to know if you can give them the countries with the most colorful flags. Yes, that should be. OK, that should be possible. Uh, so select a country um, and the count of the colors as count. The country has, oops, has a flag, not the flag image, a flag. And the flag has color. Color, that should be color and not colors. And then we group by country. So this is a bit like SQL. Grouping and aggregate functions. the microphone okay but then you can't really walk around anymore hello 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 Can I was machen Okay, so now um, this is going to be really fun. Um, yeah, so we are searching for countries with flags and hope that the flags have colors and then counting them. And what I didn't do is, what's this? Do I want to know? <laughs> okay, okay, it's, at least it's not the straight pride flag, I guess. Um, does this have 14 colors? No, what was it? No, eight, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's accurate. Uh, yeah, I didn't filter for countries here. Uh, the thing is, country is really a uh, stupidly complicated um, uh, term. So what I did was queries. I have a pre-prepared query for the UN member states somewhere, which I just copy all the time. And this is now going to be called the state. And then we only get state flags. Um, and there's exactly, oh, right. I need to group by state and state label and copy these up here as well. And then it will hopefully work. And we will find out that the United Kingdom has 12. I suspect that's because it has four flags, which all have the same rank. Or no, no, it should be five, right? United Kingdom, uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England. Uh, let's search for flag. Flag is the flag of the United Kingdom, no? Why does it have 12 colors? It has blue, red, white, but. 
I see. <laughs> that, but that still doesn't explain the 12. Let's count only the distinct colors. Distinct. There's auto completion, thank God. Perhaps that helps, though I don't know why it would have. Oh, it would have had the state multiple times because it's a uh, sovereign state multiple times, probably. Let's check. Yeah, the United Kingdom is. It's a Commonwealth realm and an island nation and a sovereign state, and that's probably why we got it multiple times. And yeah, that looks more reasonable. South Africa, Ecuador, South Sudan. And what we can also do is add the of the flag the image and call that I because I can't be bothered to type the whole thing and add that here and also add it to the group by because otherwise um, it's not the right aggregate and I can't be bothered to write sample with one hand and then we can hopefully also see it um, oh, we get two images of the flag of South Africa. That also looks like one of them should be preferred rank. But anyways, we can switch to image grid. And then we can see all these colorful flags. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's six. And this is more than six. So I guess I would say that should actually be two separate items for this old flag and no, this old flag and the new flag. But well, this is six. Is that only six colors? I'll believe it. This is six colors. Six. And then we have five colors. Yeah. So here are the... Let's just add a comment there. And I will tweet this out later as well. Color full state flags. Yeah. And uh, yeah, also we can use the image grid as the default view. We probably have time for one more question, if it's a short one. Though I won't be able to tie very fast. Yes. Um, let's hope this works. Otherwise, I can repeat it for the stream if I hear you. So, does it work? Yeah, it seems so. Uh, I don't know if it's possible, but uh, the smallest images that are on Wikipedia, so by image size, that would not be possible with the query service, I think. But I think on commons you can search. Can you search? Oops, I don't have that search sh shortcut set up here. Can you search by image size? I think that might be possible. Um, advanced search. File type, sorting order. No. Um, you could probably sort by file size in an SQL query, um, which is not a thing from the Wikidata query service, but it's possible with something else. And as it happens, I am going to have another talk later uh, where I talk about, among other things, how you can write SQL queries against the Wikipedia databases. And then we might be able to find a solution for that. Uh, that's, I think, at 6 PM today over in the Estima. Or you come uh, over to me after, after the talk, and then I can try to figure it out there. Yeah. Last emergency idea that we have to try out. You're muted. I'm muted. Do you have an, uh, one more idea, a small idea maybe we could do? But other than that, I think we also filled the time quite well. Yeah, I think we're done. But if you have any other ideas, you can always uh, contact me on Twitter, Wikidata Facts, or on Mastodon as well, and then I will see what I can do for you. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much, Lucas. That was a great introduction to Wikidata querying.